Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Jimmy and you're watching Jim Boy Rules. Today we're going to talk about some things that I dislike about my car's convertible roof. So without any further ado, let's dive straight into it. Before we start talking and take a deeper dive into the things that I dislike about my convertible roof, let's look at the B-roll of my EA9 Z4. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing and if you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, it helps this channel more than you think. Now there's very little to dislike about this beautifully designed convertible roof of the E89Z4, but if I had to say some things, here are some things that I dislike about my roof. So when I open the convertible roof, regardless of if I'm sitting inside the car or if I'm going through the remote, I have to press the open button and keep holding it for the full duration that the roof comes open. Now, I don't know anyone who would want to drive around in the car with the roof half open. They could have just made it as simple as press it once, it comes off, press it again, it comes up. And if someone did want to drive around with the roof half open, they could keep it pressed so it opens until they have kept it pressed. A lot of sunroofs work in that way. So I didn't understand the concept of having the roof open with the button pressed and held down. And it gets quite annoying. Even when you're driving, you can open the roof. When you're driving, you have to keep holding it like so, which is kind of unnecessary if you ask me. The issue of having the button held and pressed down on the time while it's opening or closing the roof, that could be addressed because there is an aftermarket module that you can install in your car which would enable one click, comes up, one click, comes down. I have seen a lot of people on YouTube do it, but I haven't done it myself. The other thing that I kind of dislike about the roof is they have given the option of undoing the roof with the key fob but it won't work if I am not standing right here so if I'm like a little further away like maybe even four feet five feet away it should work but it doesn't so I have to be really close to the car to undo the roof or put up the roof if I'm any further away it won't work now it could be a safety reason why they have done it in that way but it kind of makes no sense if I'm, I'm not gonna like kind of come to the car and press it by standing outside and do the roof then sit inside I could just sit inside and press the button and do it but I look like a complete idiot if I am just standing here pressing it while doing nothing opening the roof then sitting inside the car I'd look like a complete show off it, it kind of doesn't make sense like if it were from further away while walking to the car I could open it but it doesn't work that way so another thing that is more of a suggestion than a dislike and that is when I am sitting in the car opening the roof or while driving if I'm opening the roof I don't know when the roof has come undone completely or when the roof has opened completely what I mean by that is when the roof is opening it takes its time and I have to constantly check the mirror because I'm holding the button at the same time, right? I'm, I have kept holding it. So I'm holding the button and I have to check the mirror at all times to see if the roof has completely opened and the trunk has closed. If in case I let go of the button quicker or before the roof has completely come off, then it would give me an error saying I have not let it open completely. 
until I don't want that error, I keep looking at the mirror to see if the roof's closed. That, that way I know that the roof is open. But instead of that, if they made a chime to let me know when the roof's completely open, I could let go of that button and I would know. It would be like a sweet, comfortable chime, which is not annoying to your ears, uh, just letting me know. Uh, just a suggestion to make life a little easier. Another thing is when I put up the roof and if I'm doing it from within the car, let's say the roof is down, the windows are up, and I'm trying to put up the roof. I press the button, it rolls up the windows, opens the trunk, brings the roof up, closes the trunk, puts the roof up properly, but it will not put the windows up. I don't know why. It, when it started, the windows were rolled up. So when it's finished, why wouldn't it, out of courtesy, just put them up again. It refuses to put them up, so then I have to go and put them up with the buttons on the side of the door for the windows, for the power windows. And I'm like, why can't you just do it with the convertible roof button? But I think that's an issue with all convertibles. Uh, I thought that with Audi convertibles as well, that the same thing. Though, I'm sure there must be a reason. I don't know the reason, but if you do, do let me know in the comments below as to why it won't close the windows after it's put up the roof. So the last thing that I don't like about it is, and it especially happens when I close the roof when I'm driving. Sometimes it also happens at a standstill when I'm closing the roof. And that is when the top portion comes and attaches to the top portion of the windshield, it kind of bangs, so it feels like it just falls into place and it's a big bang when it hits the top portion of the windshield. Not that it causes any problems, not that anything's gonna break, but it feels like something's gonna break, a little bit of that big bang. And I've seen that happen with a lot of heat z4s. Mine does that sometimes. I wish it was more controlled and done in a softer moment instead of just like landing on it. It's like, uh, the way airplanes land on the runway, sometimes it's smooth, sometimes it's a big bang. It just drops into place rather than placing itself properly in a controlled movement. So I wish uh, given you addresses that in their future cars, in their future hard top convertibles. Well, it's not going to happen in the soft top uh, convertible Z4, the latest one, the G29 that they have come up with because it's not a hard top. But that's a rant for another day. Well, I hope you've liked this video. If you haven't already, then please do subscribe. We are about to reach 100 subscribers. Be one of the first 100 in supporting and helping me grow my channel. If you like this video, please do press the thumbs up button. It helps the channel more than you think. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you later. Ciao.